Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of Clusterfuck Garage. Um, you might have heard that on Facebook that uh, Corey and Benji has offered me to join the team, so obviously I've accept accepted it, so thanks to you guys. Um, I've got a few projects going on at the moment. Um, got three cars going. Uh, speak about the first one. Um, first one that I'll be putting up a bunch of videos on first. It's um, pretty much my 2002 Nissan Stager M35. Uh, it's supposed to be supposed to be my daily, but I've pretty much tinkered with it, so it's not that much of a daily anymore. <laughs> um, had it for about two years. Uh, started from a standard looking car, standard wheels, standard body kit and it's just gotten started from there pretty much. Um, so far I've done a BC red top coilovers. Um, I've still got to install the front ones which are a bit of pain in the ass. I've done and put on a Nismo body kit, uh, a Turbo Smart Boost T and a Turbo Smart Blow Off Valve. Uh, I've changed the whole interior. It used to be cream, which is not my cup of tea, and I've changed it to a. It's probably about 80% black now. Um, I've got a set of Montagi Togays, if I pronounce that correctly. Um, staggered set, 18 inch wheels, look nice on the um, car, so a bit of a story behind those wheels that I've put back on. Uh, there's also a, just a sta uh, stereo that I've put into it and a rear spoiler, a couple of small things here and there. Um, things that I've got to do to it, which I'll be putting up in future videos, first set of videos, um, I've got to change the, swap the turbo over, that's leaking everywhere, leaking oil everywhere, um, got to change the steering rack and the power steering pump, which should be fun, because it's in an awkward position, same as the turbo, everything pretty much is under the car. Um, and also the crank sensor which is pretty much between the gearbox and the motor. Um, what else? The second car that I'll be working on, second set of videos, um, is pretty much the same car but it's white. Um, bought this car to just to put together and then sell it. Uh, still a bit of work to do. Uh, I need to put the interior back together. Well actually, before I do that, I need to pull the carpet out, swap the carpet out from my red M35 to the white one and put the grey gray carpet into the red car, which is going to be fun. But for the white car, um, just got to, as I said, interior, I've got to finish off the interior, put an exhaust system on it, um, install the turbo, uh, install a dump pipe from Scotty Customs, she does a really good job on doing dump pipes for M35s, um, there's a whole bunch of hoses that I need to connect up, as well as fluids, service, and all that stuff. Um, I've had the white car for about a year and a half, I think, two years. Um, can't wait to get it on the road, it's going to be good. Have a little drive before I sell it and get it registered and stuff like that. Uh, another car which I'm not going to reveal at the moment. 
I'll reveal it at some point when you guys are pretty much nagging in the comments to say it. Um, this is a major project that you'll be seeing a lot of. Um, a lot of time and effort's gone into this this car. Um, I've had it for about 10 years. It's been on and off the road numerous times. I've, I think I'm up to its third motor, and which I'm putting a built motor in there. The bigger turbo, bigger cams, um, forged rods and pistons a few other things to get rid of problematic things which the engine has. Um, yes, it's another wagon, because I'm a bit of a sucker for wagons. Uh, the other things that I've done is there's BC gold top coilovers all around, uh, upper, upper camber arms is it from ZSS. Uh, interior, I've taken out the old interior and put in a Series 2 interior, which looks better than the Series 1s. A uh, whole lot of interior optional extras that I've put in that are hard to come by. Um, there'll be some upholstery work as well that I'll be doing. Um, just covering all the plastic uh, pillars, plastic pillars to a suede. I'm probably going to do it black with a light colour, possibly grey roof. Um, the, I've got new wheels for it. Um, getting it resprayed at some point hopefully um, <clears throat> hopefully you guys will be able to see the engine getting built just waiting for it waiting to get confirmed if we can record at the uh, workshop where me and my mate are building the motor um, it's going to be getting built at TSD Automotive um, good bloke there that works there trust him with the motor. I've seen him work before, he does great work with these type of mo these type of engines. You can do it with his eyes shut. And then hopefully I can also get recordings of the videos of the car getting tuned at checkered tuning once I organise that. See how see the numbers that we get up get up to. Don't see us going past well, I aim for three, 350 all wheel kilowatts at all fours. Um, the only thing that's stopping me is the gearbox, the manual gearbox which I'm putting in. Um, but hopefully, be getting the gearbox built after the car's done eventually once I get used to the power. And then aiming for the big numbers. But yeah, so. There's also a few other things, I like, I, I could be here for a whole day reading out what I've got. It's pretty much an A4 sheet long of mods that I'm doing to the car. Uh, was originally my daily, um, as I said I had it for 10 years, was a daily since I was on my P's. Well, got off my P's and um, yeah, I've just enjoyed driving it, it's good fun but got bored of the stock power and just thought, well, why not put some power into it, have some fun, get rid of the problematic th problems that it usually comes with, with well, most cars. Um, yeah, majority of the videos you'll see of the major project. Um, the other, the M35s you won't see as much. Um, as I said, the white car, the white M35, is pretty much getting put back together and then put up for sale. Uh, the red M35 you'll see here to there, getting work done to it. Um, but yeah, 
majority of it will be the project car which is going to be a lot of fun a lot of blood blood set and sweat and tears put into it it's going to be good a lot of cuts and bruises <laughs> it's going to bite me i already know that but um yeah so uh, i think the next video that i'll be doing will be removing i think it might be a part series um, with removing the changing the turbo to a intense RS turbo which is billet and it's high flow as well um, and also swapping out the power steering rack and the power steering pump which is going to be interesting because I've never still learning about the M35s and the engine motors that are in them themselves so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun but, um i'll leave it at that um thanks for watching and um yeah i'll see you in the next video cheers